Hello again, everybody. Scott Casper, Takedown Media. We continue our coverage of the sport. The Nike Hot Seat special guest for the day, the founder of the Cleveland chapter and in general, the Wrestlers and Business Network, Aaron Grossman joins us. Aaron, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm excited. November 5th, literally around the corner, the NWC All-Star Classic 2016 edition heads to Cleveland, Ohio. Let's talk about it, Aaron. First of all, where's it going to be? So it's going to be at the Wolstein Center, uh, which is right downtown. You can seat up to 10,000 people. We're, uh, we're putting our big, hairy, audacious goal to try to see if we can meet that commitment. Uh, so we're really excited to have it there. And the Brewer Garrett Company has stepped up this year, haven't they? Yes. Lou Joseph is the, uh, is the CEO of Brewer Garrett, former wrestler for Michigan. Awesome guy. Uh, great partner uh, within Wrestlers and Business Network. And uh, he wants to showcase Cleveland. Well, showcasing Cleveland, showcasing wrestling in the great state of Ohio is important, but putting it on a larger map is even more so. And that, of course, happens when you produce a quality event. Let's go back to 2015 in Atlanta, Georgia. Not as many people, perhaps, as we had hoped for on the given day that it was held, but perhaps we can change that by putting it in the wrestling-rich hotbed that is Cleveland, Ohio. Talk about that decision. Well, you know, one of the things, I mean, Atlanta, Atlanta did a phenomenal job of hosting the All-Star Classic last year and even had uh, ESPN obviously run the event live. I believe from what I was told is that the only other wrestling event held live on ESPN is the, is the NCAA Finals. So uh, it was really cool to have that type of exposure. But you're, as you said, the, the, the attendance wasn't great. I think part of it was uh, we were limited with respects to ESPN and, and, and the timing of when they could hold the, hold the event. So it was on a Sunday, I believe, late afternoon. So uh, we've decided to go a, a different route. Obviously, we're going to be in the hotbed of wrestling here in Cleveland, Ohio, but we're going to do it on Saturday night, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be showtime. So it's right. going to be a lot of fun. And as you know, and I think most of the country knows, Cleveland loves wrestling, and um, there is a ton of um, ton of excitement around having this type of event here. As much as we we love wrestling in Cleveland. It's not very often that we get the best of college wrestling to come to come to our town. And boy, will they. They say Cleveland rocks. Well, Saturday, November 5th, indeed, Cleveland will be rocking at Cleveland State University at the Wallstein Center. Our guest today, Aaron Grossman. Aaron is the founder of Wrestlers and Business Network. And since you guys took over the production and promotion of this event, it has turned a profit. The overall goal of the event now is to give money back, uh, seed money, uh, needed funds to universities and colleges. How have your goals been met? How are you doing with that? Oh, you know, super excited about what Wrestlers and Business Network has done for the sport of wrestling. I believe we've given well over $100,000 to, uh, to various programs that uh, we've been able to to help over the last few years. Obviously, the All-Star Classic, as you just mentioned, uh, when we took it over, it was, was floundering a bit, uh, wasn't getting the best wrestlers, wasn't getting the best attendance. But uh, since we've taken on, since the business community has taken on uh, hosting this event, there's a, there, there's a lot, a lot more emphasis on making sure that we get, that we, we make a profit, we're able to hold a successful event that's unique, with the ultimate goal of giving back to the sport. So, you know, our goal here in Cleveland is to help help the local uh, college wrestling programs here in Northeast Ohio and, and also help uh, some of the local high school programs as well. Now, as much as there are discounts for groups or more, you can also be a part of the social, which I love being a part of. It's 100 bucks each. General admission goes all the way down to 15 bucks. There will be a youth wrestling clinic this year, won't there? Yeah, so uh, we actually teamed up with Rudis this year. Uh, so Rudis is going to be the uh, sponsor for our youth clinic. And Jeff Jordan, who uh, is uh, an un one of the best coaches in the, in the nation, I think the his team, St. Paris Graham, has won the last 16 state championships here in Division II in Ohio. He'll be uh, hosting the uh, the clinic this year. I love it. And uh, yep. Northeast Ohio Discount Drug Marts is where you can purchase those tickets. Also at the Wallstein Center box office, folks. You want to be there. 2016 All-Star Classic. The best of the best will be there to put on the first show of the year, if you will. And we really look at it as a way to kick off the wrestling season, Aaron. Or am I, am I, am I on the mark there? Oh, you're completely on the mark. I mean, this is a great opportunity for us to market 
our sport. It's an amazing sport, and it's not often where we get the best of the best competing against each other. And what, what really makes this, this, this event unique and what we're hoping to do here in Cleveland is that it's an, it's, it's obviously it's an exhibition match, so technically the, 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 the matches don't count. And that gives us more flexibility. We can create really unique matchups. Uh, we don't have any of these solidified yet, yet, but if you can imagine national champs from one weight class wrestling the national champ from the weight class up or down from them, and having those types of matchups that you're just not going to see any time other than at this event. Mm. And I love that opportunity. It's guys like Kuhn and Walls who put the uh, uh, the buzz on last year. We had some great matches. That was a heavyweight match, and and we were all so excited because the quality of le- uh, the the quality level of wrestling last year was seemingly at an all time high, at least uh, in, in the uh, in in my memory. And and that's what we loved. So it was a great facility. Wolstein Center set to host this year, and uh, tickets are so affordable. How about sponsorship? How can people be involved as a sponsor? Uh, we have multiple levels of sponsorship. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll take any amount of money uh, that, that people are willing to give, but we do have some categories where we have uh, some unique benefits. For example, uh, we have weight class sponsors, and I'll just kind of go into that a little bit. So our weight class sponsor, for example, is $3,000. But what you get to do uh, as part of that sponsorship is actually be the honorary coach for that match, for that particular participant. So We'll have two weight class sponsors for each weight class. And uh, so you'll get to come down, sit next to the coach, and actually be an honorary coach for that that particular match and get a chance to meet some of the best wrestlers in the country. So try to do some unique things to help the sponsors, but give a lot of exposure if you're a sponsor, um, a lot of exposure at the meet, at our social event, at the youth clinic. Um, So we'll have a lot of opportunities to get the name out there. Uh, But mostly what we're seeing is that, especially here in Cleveland, it's just people who love wrestling, and they want to make sure people know that this is a great sport, and they and this is an opportunity to create a really unique experience, not only for the for the athletes that are being involved, but for the fans uh, that'll be watching. And it's home to the champions of the NBA, Cleveland, Ohio, as how yeah. proud of what? <laughs> <laughs> and the Indians looking to put a little capper on that too. Is it truly the championship town that uh, the NBA is saying about Cleveland right now? Well. What do you think? Of course it is. <laughs> you know, for 50, I'm 42 years old. I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. It is amazing to see what's going on in Cleveland. And I mean, when you think about it, you know, we, we, we come out of nowhere and win that championship. We're down three to one. And, and just the, you know, the 1.3 million fans that were in attendance for the, uh, um, for the, the, uh, the parade a few days later. And then two weeks later, we follow up with the RNC convention convention, and we have the Donald show up, so uh, it's been a it's been a fun ride so far. It's interesting time to be involved in the world of sports when political candidates show up at the drop of a hat. But then, you have LeBron James just two days ago going on record as saying he is actually chasing Michael Jordan's records and being the greatest of all time. Cleveland is is surely backing that idea of LeBron going after that record, yeah. I mean, I was talking with somebody uh, just yesterday about this. Think about this. In the finals, when we were down 3-1, to one, LeBron James, you know, pretty much single-handedly, you know, changed the, changed the status of that game. He, I, I think you probably know this, but he literally led the statistical categories and all major statistical categories for, that, for the finals. Each and every one was LeBron James. Amazing. When he wants to be the best, he is by far the best. That, that there is, and I think that ever lived. Aaron Grossman, an obvious fan of Cleveland, Ohio. We are, too, airing on Fox Sports Time Ohio out of Cleveland, and uh, they are making some uh, great moves as Fox Sports Time Ohio. We love everybody in Cleveland. Cleveland State, you know, Joel's over there, and I tell you what, he's not uh, going to take a back seat to this. He'll want to be as evident as anybody, Cleveland State and the Mighty Bobcats. What are your thoughts? Well, you said Mighty Bobcats. That's OU. Ooh, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll just leave <laughs> they it. They have please. the same colors, though. I know. Scott, the same now colors. Listen, you were close there. You do this all day long. You're going to you're gonna mess up once in a while. <laughs> but I appreciate that. Thank you very much for pointing out. And that way I'm not always incorrect, just sometimes. All right, you can fly into Akron, uh, the Akron-Canton Airport. You can fly into the Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. It's affordable. It's a short drive. Hotels, Wyndham, Cleveland, that's where we're all going to be staying is my understanding. Yeah, beautiful place to stay. Uh, we've got great rates at that hotel. 
literally it's right in the heart of Cleveland. So it's you can walk to the casino, you can walk to the bar district right there on East 4th, and you can walk right to the Wolstein Center. Perfect location to have a great time and a great experience in Cleveland. And let me rem remind everybody who's coming from out of town, Cleveland, because of the RNC uh, that just happened, we, we've spent billions of dollars on our infrastructure uh, of the city. It's completely revamped. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I'm excited to showcase that, show that off to everybody coming into town for our event. I don't want you to forget anybody, but I do rec want to recognize the, uh, the board of the Cleveland chapter of Wrestlers and Business Network. Would you do the honors? Yeah, I mean, there, there's, there's, uh, there's several people on our committee. Uh, you know, we have John Savetic, who's been just absolutely amazing, is also uh, the national treasurer uh, for wrestlers and business. Lou Joseph, as I mentioned earlier, Tim Cortad, who uh, is my best friend. He's been with me. And actually, as you mentioned, the, the Bobcats, he just got elected into their Hall of Fame. There it is. For uh, being an All-American there at OU with, with Greenlee. And uh, we've got Jason Effner, um, Matt Delguide, who's done a fantastic job. Uh, Scott Richter, Al Melchiori, Neil Waxman. Uh, I'm sure I'm missing. Uh, uh, there's Nick Canatano, who I wrestled with in Miami. There's a lot of great guys. And what's what's awesome about our group is that we're all very successful in our careers. And uh, and we're dedicating our time. We're volunteering our time. And these people are, are rolling up their sleeves. And they're, they're really wanting to make this event great. And make uh, the Wrestlers and Business chapter great here in Cleveland. And you did so recently with an unforgettable evening with Dan Gable. How did that go? Oh, that was, I mean, Dan Gable's, Dan, he's, he's amazing. You know, I, I'll never forget so, when he was talking to to the group and somebody elbows me and like he said, "Look at his feet." He was literally on his tippy toes. Looks like he was going forward on his tippy toes the entire time that he was speaking, like he was just wanting to kill somebody. He's just amazing. I love I love watching him. A couple of events to come up for wrestlers of business Cleveland chapter: the August Beer of the Month keg tapping that'll take place. Uh, Later today, actually. And then Saturday, October 22nd, the uh, ATL Fall 5K Run Walk. Uh, things going on there in Atlanta, Georgia as well. So keep in mind, Wrestlers and Business Network. Look for them online, wrestlersandbusiness.org. Our guest today, Aaron Grossman, taking time out of an exceedingly busy schedule. Aaron, thank you for fitting us in. I know how dedicated you are to this event, and I appreciate it. John Licata said, I want Aaron on the show. And I said, you got it. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Wrestlers and Business Network again presenting the NWCA All-Star Classic live in Cleveland, Ohio at the Wolstein Center. Look for it November 5th. Make plans to be there or make sure you check in online for more information at nwcaonline.com forward slash nwca website slash events, etc. Look for that at NWCA Online. Aaron, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. For all of us at Takedown, I'm Scott Casper. Thanks for watching.